Hello everybody, John Kilo Kilo 4 November Quebec Quebec here. I am here today to show the assembly video for my Sidekicks panel and the Sidekicks Lexan cover. I ordered these products uh, just a little over a week ago and uh, you can see here is the instructions. Uh, it comes from Scott AK6Q. Um, this looks like a great product. I can't wait to put it on my KX3. Uh, again, this is a GEMS product, and you can see right there, GEMSproducts.com is where I ordered it from. Came packaged really well in a uh, small uh, United States Postal Service, you know, you ship it box. Um, the only things required for installation is a number one Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, they recommend to use an actual socket and not an open-ended wrench because it can damage the finish on the plates. The plates themselves, you can see, are in uh, just about the same color as the KX3 here, the same type of finish. Um, just like when you got your KX3, the areas that need to be grounded are already uh, removed so that uh, your KX3 will ground properly. And you can see the finish on these is excellent. The screen printing here is really good. They look excellent, and uh, I can't wait to put it on. Now, to begin with your KX3, all you need to do is open it up as if you were doing a uh, battery maintenance or a battery change. So you want to remove the screws on the side of your KX3. Actually, you want to pop it open first. As you can tell, I didn't really practice before I started to do this. I just wanted to get her done. So we'll get these loosened up here. And we'll loosen up the other side. Okay. And again, you just want to open up your KX3 as if you're doing a battery installation. Good time for guys like me to check our batteries and make sure that they're still in working order make sure that you're not having any problems um, I don't like to open it too often because I, I'm very careful about this ribbon right here and then we go ahead and we remove all of our screws here I've already done it on the other side so I don't really need to worry about it See, the cover comes right off real easy. And then this one, of course, we'll want to use our nut driver to remove it. Probably a better idea would have been to leave the screws on to get the nut driver off. It kind of shifted a little bit, but I don't think that's a problem. Again, just remove that. Comes right off. And now we'll reinstall. We'll come back around here. get it nice and finger tight so we can get it aligned properly torque it down a little bit there be careful not to strip anything out of course looks good on that side and I'll switch over to this side Here, just make sure that you get it over the uh, be careful with the uh, the mic connection there probably what I will do is I will get the screw started here first and then replace the mic bolt 
That way I can make sure it lines up properly. finger tight so we can make sure everything lines up. Nice and finger tight. And then here we're just going to be very careful. Just carefully Thread that nut on there. Then we're going to snug down this nut. Not too tight, just tight enough. There we go. Now we're going to make sure all of our screws are tight. Taking care not to strip them, of course. side we'll just recheck all right now that the plates are on we will carefully tilt our KX3 closed make sure everything is seated properly Tighten everything down. Nice and finger tight. I'm going to adjust your legs so that there's just a little bit of that they close nice, a little bit of tension. Don't want them too loose, don't want them too tight. Because you want them to operate freely and easily. Look at that. So as you can see here, we've got our side plates installed. They're nice and stout, really strong. I'm gonna protect those knobs on the front of the KX3. Everything appears to be lined up well. Maybe a little bit further down on this one here. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. We'll power up. Make sure everything's working. Look at that. Working great. We'll power back down. And we'll pop on the Lexan cover here for the first time. Lexan cover. As you can see, it just pops right over perfect nice and strong good protection for the knobs on the front of your KX3 a little bit of flash there on the end no problem fixed so as you can tell it's a good product approximately $66 for the set you get both side panels and the cover this is an excellent item here for all you soda guys with a KX3. It's going to protect that vulnerable front panel of your KX3. Uh, it'll probably be nice when we get out in the weather. And, uh, you know, if you've got a little bit of drizzle or anything like that, again, it's going to protect the front of that KX3 so you can continue to operate. Of course, I'm always a little careful with this thing. It's not exactly a weatherproof radio. Um, usually I cover up anyway. But, you know, that little bit of extra added protection there. Um, it looks sharp. It looks just like it came, you know, like it should come from the factory like this. Um, it's a shame they uh, don't, don't offer this option direct from the factory. But uh, it was an easy assembly. Took a few minutes um, and you're good to go. And uh, it's just a great product. 
Again, here's the instructions. Thank you, Scott AK6Q, for this awesome product. It's uh, you can find it at gemsproducts.com. Um, easy product, and uh, I think it's going to be a wonderful addition to my sodas. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will hopefully have some videos shortly of it in action on a summit. So you all have a good day. This is John Kilo Kilo 4, November, Quebec, Quebec, saying farewell, 73s, and keep climbing.